What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the best single player games that you can play. Now, I do most of the time play solo, but sometimes I will play with my friend Jack. But whenever I play solo, usually I'll pick either one of these games or some other games and play by myself. And it is just a blast to whether or not you're trophy hunting or just want to go and play through a story. A lot of these games are amazing and you will absolutely love. So let's get straight into this. Up first, we have Life is Strange. All of the games, in my opinion, were amazing. The artwork was very cool. The story was intense. The gameplay is very minimal. If you are trophy hunting and you do want to get the platinum for each game, it is very possible, but you will have to either A, find all the collectibles or do certain things and make certain choices along the way. If you just want to play through and have fun, this game is great as well because the story and the ending of each of the games is amazing. The last one that came out, True Colors, I have yet to play, but it's definitely on my list. Just waiting for that price to come down a little bit, but if you do want to have a great game and something that is awesome there is the first three games of life is strange that i've played so far and it is a blast next up is a game called detroit become a human this one here is an amazing story the artwork is amazing the gameplay is amazing the decision making along the way usually decision making games i'm not a huge fan of but this one here is perfect is the top notch top tier game that you would absolutely love now if you are a trophy hunter this is going to be a challenge because you will have to make different decisions along the way and go back into chapter select later on and make different uh, different decisions and then play through a little bit farther to get certain comic books in order to get all of the trophies but if you're just playing through to have fun there is different endings along the way different secret endings and a lot of fun that you will have playing this game i actually got it free ps plus but it is worth all the money if you are purchasing the game yourself next is horizon zero dawn i've only played the first one I don't even know if I'm halfway there. It is just so much fun, so much to do, such a huge open world that it's just a blast. And I know there is a second one, Forbidden West, that's coming out for the PS5 or already out by the time I'm uploading this. And I don't have the PS5 yet, but when I do, I'm definitely going to be getting this game because it's going to be so much fun. It's just part of me wants to at least make sure I'm at least halfway to about 75% complete the first one before I start playing the next one because then I know I'm not going to go back to the first one. And if I know I'm not even at 50% done the first one, I want to make sure I play it before I get to that time. So hopefully I will play it a lot more, but there's so much to do. I love the enemies. I love the robots. I love everything about this game. And it's very minimal. It's not like you have an overkill of weapons. It's basic stuff weapons are bow and arrow and a lot of really cool stuff so that makes the game a lot more enjoyable in my opinion next up is grand theft auto san andreas this game here one of my favorite games from the, my childhood however it wasn't until the playstation 4 version came out that I actually went and beat the game, completed the game, and got the platinum. So to get the platinum for this game, you have to beat the game without and get all of the trophies without using any cheat codes, which is extremely difficult, but well worth it. A lot of fun. I had a blast and a lot of great story. And this is the first Grand Theft Auto game other than Grand Theft Auto V that I actually played from start to finish. And I absolutely loved it. So it's a game from my childhood that I never finished when I was a kid. And I finished it on the PlayStation 5. Now, of course, they did remake it with newer graphics. And I've yet to play that. But I've already beat the game by itself with the original graphics and everything. And I loved everything that was included. So the story was amazing. So much to do. Very large map. Absolutely loved it. And I highly recommend if you have yet to play this game, play it through and play it right to the end. You will not regret it. Next up is going to be the Uncharted games, which is awesome for PlayStation. I loved them all, even the spin-off one. It was amazing. I loved the whole trophy hunter aspect to it, the parkour, the shooting, everything about it had all the interest in the games that I loved. And playing through them, the story was amazing and how the character develops is insane. So if you love story, I definitely recommend starting off with the first Uncharted and working your way through all of them. You will absolutely love the games. And the last one that's on my list is going to be Spider-Man. 
all of the Marvel games I absolutely loved, even Avengers, which got a lot of hate. I still enjoyed the story and still played through it, but if you want one that is great to start out with, I recommend Spider-Man, the first one. It is a blast. The mechanics of web slinging was so advanced that it just was just like the Marvel MCU movies where it just flowed perfectly. The web abilities, the different suits, the story was amazing, the enemies you come across, everything about this game was 10 out of 10 for me. Easy to get a platinum within two weeks if you do try hard or if you just want a good time. Play this game, you won't regret it. It is awesome, it is insane, but of course, this is all that I do have on my list. But of course there is other games that are great single player games. So if you guys have other ones that you do love, comment down below. There's obviously ones that I missed and obviously ones that I have yet to play. Let me know what is your favorite single player game and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.